Okay, so let's do this once again. Uh, we have uh, an equation here. Uh, a simple looking equation, but uh, I would always call this as a dangerous equation. So why? Because uh, I think the initial solution here would be like since this is square and then this is square. So what we will do is we'll cancel this, we'll cancel this. So we have the equation like x is equal to x minus 1 and then transpose this one to the other side. So x minus x is equal to negative 1. So 0 is not equal to negative 1. So we would arrive and then we would conclude that there's no solution for this particular uh, equation. Okay, But take note that uh, the exponent here is 2 and the exponent here is 2 or an even number. So if the exponent here is even number and also on the other, other side of it, uh, the equation is even number, we can say that now that the absolute value of x is equal now to the absolute value of your x minus 1. Okay? So why is that so? so say for example, this is negative value, so it, since ne negative times negative would become positive. So that's why we take the absolute value. So by doing so, let's try to solve if we get some values that would satisfy the equation. So let's see this one. Let's make this one negative, the left side of the equation. Then we'll keep the right side the same. So first solution here. So negative x minus x is equal to negative 1. So negative 2x is equal to negative 1. So we have here x, which has a value of 1 half. Okay, so we say that x is equal to 1 half is possible value. So let's try to substitute now. 1 half times 1 half or 1 half squared is 1 over 4. And then here is uh, 1 half minus 1. That's negative 1 half. But you, when you square that 1, it will give you 1 over 4. So 1 half is a solution. So the second solution here, let's see if we'll try to make, keep the left side same, x, but we will change the right side, so negative x plus 1, so this one is x plus x is equal to 1, so 2x is equal to 1, x is also the same as 1 half, so same, same here. What if we will change both of them? third solution so that means if you have negative x is equal to negative x plus 1 so negative x plus x is equal to 1 so 0 is not equal to 1 so therefore our answer here should be x is equal to 1 half to satisfy this equation okay so more of this on our succeeding videos till next time guys bye bye